the spark in my hand and I press the power button twice. Spark starts looking for a pilot and now that it recognizes me, it will automatically take off from my hand. Within seconds, I can get the spark in the air. Now, it's flying, but I need to control it. I want to angle it around to get just the right shot that I want. So to do that, we designed an interface using the simplest control interface that we could think of. And it's not your spark phone. Take a look. Just using my palm, I can move spark left, I can move it right, I can use it up and down, I can push it away from me, and I can pull it towards me. It's that simple to control, and it truly feels like magic. Now, within this range, I've got about a three feet between me and the spark, but that doesn't show the epic perspective that drones are known for. So in order to get that perspective, I'm going to tell Spark to fly a little bit further away from me, and I'll do that by waving. Just like that, Spark flies about 10 feet away from me and keeps me centered in the, in the middle of the shot. It's fantastic. So I still want to be able to control my shot. This is maybe not the best background. I want to get those chandeliers captured behind me, so I'm just going to move. And Spark is actively tracking me as I move around so that I can choose the right scenery behind me. All right, this is the shot I want, and I'm going to take a picture just by doing this. Just like that, I've taken a picture. From takeoff to taking a picture, it's seconds. Now. I can still bring it back and land just by waving. This is using gesture control from start to finish to control the spark's flight. And I'll land it just on my palm. Zobakit.